Happy Sunday, everyone. How is everyone doing on this beautiful morning? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. First, I want to give honor to God, who is the head of my life. And I just want to thank God for everything that he does and everything that he is getting ready to do. Amen. Today, I want to read uh, Psalms 27 and 4. One thing I have desired of the Lord is that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Amen. To behold the beauty of the Lord. How many of y'all know that God is beautiful? Amen. There is beauty in uh, acknowledging God. Amen. And to inquire in his temple. Amen. One thing I have desired out of everything else is to live for the Lord. Amen. See, many of us desire to have friends. Amen. Many of us desire to have a boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever the case may be. Many of us desire to have. But there come a time in life where we must lay aside our own desires and desire to be with God, amen, to be with the Lord, amen. Even in the midst of this pandemic that we're going through, uh, have a desire to be in the Lord, amen, and, and, and seek the king's face first, amen, before you make any move, and you will dwell in his house forever. How many of y'all want to be in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. We are a chosen chosen generation that dwells in the house of God. Amen. And I tell you, once you desire God, I'm telling you, you will feel so good about yourself. You'll be happy. You won't have the feeling of uh, doubt in you. Amen. You won't have the feeling of uh, uh, depression upon you. Amen. Because some, some people are, are dealing with depression and some of us are having, you know, negative thoughts, negative feelings and everything. But I want to let you know, for those of you that are depressed, watch this video. If you are one that is facing depression, I just want to let you know that if you have one desire to seek the Lord, amen, and dwell in his kingdom forever and ever, amen, I guarantee that God, is going to take away all of that that you've been feeling and whatever you've been depressed about. Amen. Watch God because he will work all the days of your life. So the closer we get to him, all of that will diminish from us. Amen. And we will live in the beauty of God. Amen. How many of you all know that God is beautiful? See, we may go to the park, take nice pictures, and look at the beautiful scenery and everything. But I want to tell you this right now, that if you land in the house of God, amen, it's going to be even beautiful. And it's going to be oh so sweet. Mm -hmm, I tell you, it is. Amen. How many of you all know that the Lord is a sweet-smelling Savior? The Lord is sweeter than the honeycomb. Hallelujah. The Lord is sweeter than sugar. Amen. The Lord is sweeter than a, a delicious piece of living pie or cake. Amen. Speaking of that, I'm showing mine one right now. But, you know, my one desire is to be in the house of the Lord so I can inquire in his temple. And this is such a good verse, uh, Psalms 27 and 4. So let your desire be not in this flesh. Let your desire be not in friends. Let your desires be not in material things, material wealth, cars, money, houses. Amen. Let your desire be in God. Amen. And I'm going to tell you this right now. My goodness, God will make your heart clean. So for the, some of you guys that are depressed out there, some of you guys that are stressed, if you desire God, he will make your heart glad. Amen. And he will put peace in your heart. Amen. The Lord will put fire in your bones. Amen. Mm -hmm. And 
God will, and yes, he will, take care. Yes, he will. Amen. We thank, I thank God for this, this message on this morning. May God be with you. Peace be with you always. And uh, let God be at the center. God bless you and have a good day.